I arranged through talk show host Lance Shabazz to do a over-the-phone interview with the still stunningly beautiful former wife of Muhammad Ali, Khalila Ali. Wow. I happened wow. to come across a photograph that I saw her in that blew my mind. I asked Sister Khalila several questions about the amazing photograph that displayed her presenting a birthday cake to a man she disclosed to me to be Master Farad Muhammad. Warning, the following segment of this documentary could blow your mind. Please have a psychiatric nurse on standby. Brother uh, Omar, are you there? Yes, I am. Assalamu alaikum. You, you're on the phone with uh, Sister Khalil Ali. Oh, Sister Khalil, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Brother Omar. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm all right, Sister. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks a lot, oh. I am. Well, you cert I'm I saw a recent picture of you, and you certainly look marvelous. You look great. Yeah, you might need glasses. No, no, I got good vision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey Sister Lilla, this, this brother's working on a project that he's working on on Master Farad Muhammad, and I was sharing it with him, uh, the picture that you had shown me with uh, Brother Abdullah, <laughs> and I told him that you had said the messenger introduced you um, to him as Master Farad Muhammad, and uh, the brother wanted to ask you some questions about that. Sure. If, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. I'm trying to work on a very small project about, you know, Farad and the nation. Stric yes, sir. So, it's something I'm doing strictly on my own. But that was a very interesting picture. Very interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I wrote down several questions. So it, when you, whenever you want me to begin, you just let me know and I'll, I'll ask yeah, you. Yeah, I've been doing right now. Okay. All right, Sister uh, Kalila, do you remember the actual date of that photograph? Cause I can see, because I see you're very young in that photograph. Yeah, uh, the date would be, I don't know, um, I would be guessing, mm -hmm. uh, I would be, I was divorced from my at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was in my home, he stayed in my home. Uh, All right. We'll move. We'll move on. Maybe it'll come to you. It'll come to you. I, I, I was just thinking, y'all. Uh, it'll be like seventy-seven. Okay. I think it was the divorce. Uh, seventy-eight, seventy-seven. It had to be. It was in the seventies, in the seventies. Okay, somewhere in the seventies. Late seventies, early eighties. Now that, now, or in that picture. There's two women in back of you, in back of uh, the man. And who is the, who is who, exactly who is the man? The man himself? Yeah, the man that you uh, are presenting. His present name is Muhammad Abdullah. And now, who is he supposed to be? Well, he's Muhammad Abdullah. Is, is he Farad Muhammad formally? Well, I, I was introduced to him as that, but uh, a lot of people don't believe it, but that's what I was introduced to. Him as. I can only go by what somebody tells me. I understand. And I, and I only trust, and I only trusted one man, and that was Elijah Muhammad. So, and, so, he so said it. I believe it. So, Elijah Muhammad introduced you to this man. Yes, sir. And what was I this? I was introduced in his home with this man. I, uh, I'm sorry, I missed that. You were introduced in his home. Yeah, I was introduced to him in his. In Elijah Muhammad's home, not in my home. Okay, so he was at Elijah Muhammad's home. He was at his home. And Elijah Muhammad said to you, this is Master Farad Muhammad? That's what he said. Mm. Now, what was your reaction when he told you that? I was excited. I was elated, you know, mm. and I thought that was beautiful. Did, did, but I wanted to... Uh, I, wondered, I wondered why his name was different when, I, when he... When... Uh, when I saw him the second time, mm. uh, well, I asked him why was it different. He said he changed it. He changed it? Because, yeah, he, he said he came, he used his name then in America when he came here. Mm -hmm. That's what he used. And, um, and um, his real name was Muhammad Abdullah. Mm -hmm. what, what, was, was your former husband, Muhammad Ali, with you at the time? No. Okay. I was divorced from Ali then. Oh, I see. I see. Now, before, before when I met him, uh, 
uh, I, I wasn't even married to Lolly. You met him? You met? I was younger, younger when I first met him. When you first met Master he Farad? He telling me he just looked older. He just looked older. Uh huh. So you met him? You met Master Farad on two occasions, when you were younger and sometime later. Yeah. Well. Yeah, he but he adopted me as his granddaughter, so it wasn't like I met him a couple of times. I mean, he lived in my home. I went to his home, mm. you know, with his wife and his family. So those women in back of him in that photograph, who are those women? My daughter, my daughter, uh, Miriam, and uh, my, my adopted daughter, um, uh, Christine Gunasekra from Malaysia. You said... Your daughter Miriam is in that photograph with you pre presenting. Yeah, my firstborn. Yes, me and my Hamdali's firstborn. She's standing right over our uh, grandfather. Oh, I thought those were two women from India. No, yeah. these are my daughters, man. <laughs> they know the men from India. Those are my daughters. So you, so one, 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 one of the women is your daughter Miriam. And the other one is the one I adopted and brought back from Malaysia. Hmm. She was visiting me in Malaysia. See, I don't have the actual photograph in front of me right now. Well, there was only two people, women that were pictures in the paper. Okay, now. Photo. Okay, let, what about the cake? What, what, what's the occasion for, for, for the cake? It was his birthday. It was his birthday. Mm -hmm. I made a cake. Mm. You made that cake? I made the cake. Mm. Let me ask you. Carrot. It was a carrot cake. It was carrot cake. Yep. I hear that. <laughs> the traditional, Mus <laughs> traditional Muslim carrot cake. That's right. <laughs> I hear you. Yes, sir. Um, did he speak? Did you ever hear him speak several languages? Your, your he speaks about seven languages. Did you actually hear him speak any other languages? Of course, my dear brother. Hmm. Hmm. Is there is there any? Do you have more pictures other than that one picture? Any other photographs that you might be able to? No, not with me. No, no. No, not with you. Where 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 would they be, sister? The photographs. Well, these the same pictures that was in my house. I didn't take a lot of pictures with them. Only, oh, I just never thought of taking a lot of pictures with them. I just took that one because it was his birthday. Hmm. I don't have a whole lot of pictures. I don't even have a picture of me and Elijah Muhammad. Mm. I, never took, I never thought to take any with them. Mm. Now, what about... Well, I was too excited. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. Now, what about... Um, did you speak to him on the phone several times, Farad? No, because he adopted me as his granddaughter when he first met me. He said, this is one I'm going to adopt as my granddaughter. Uh -huh. And he writes letters to me, and he'll say... This is your grandfather, so on and so on. So do you still he would write letters? Do you still have those letters, Sister Kaliela? Yes, I have my letters. Yeah. You, what? We, I have my letters. Could we? I not. Could I possibly be see? Could I see one? Could you? Could I you? I don't have those with me, though, brother. Hmm. I don't have that with me. Hmm. Hold on for one minute. Hold on. Wonder where she would have them if she doesn't have them with her. Where would they? Uh, probably in Florida. Hello. Oh yes, Sister Kalila. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I was my daughter. Oh, I mean, okay. Calling so, me from uh, from Chicago. I hear you. So you want to continue? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you want to continue? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Now, did did Master Farad speak with an accent? What was what was his dialect like? The sound of his, the tone of his voice. I'm gonna be honest with you. He told me he was born. In Karachi, Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So he had a he had a uh, Pakistani kind of accent. Mm hmm But he could speak Urdu, Urdu, his word language was Urdu, and he could speak Hindi, mm -hmm. and he could speak a lot of other languages. But he has the, the Pakistani accent. Uh huh. Like like a lot of Pakistanis in this country now, we know how they sound. Exactly. I, I, okay, because there's a way he sounds. Okay, that that the, yeah, the, the 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 typical Indian uh, type of uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But sometimes, sometimes he can speak when he speak English. He can speak as clear as we do. Mm. We can all. He can speak as clear without a dialect. Mm. 
He was very good. He was a master of all languages. Mm. Now, what about... He can speak. I've heard him speak just as clear as I do. I hear that. Now, what about your former husband, Muhammad Ali? Did, 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 did Muhammad Ali ever meet Master Farad Muhammad? Not with me. Mm, not with you. Maybe through Elijah Muhammad on his own. See, if he met him, I, would, he, I wouldn't know about it. Because mm. I've never seen him with him. Okay. Oh. I hear that. Oh. I hear that. I wanted to ask you, Sister Kalila, can I use that photograph with you presenting the cake to your grandfather in the film that I'm trying to make? Can I use that photograph? Well, you? I have I have permission. You're a man of history, I want you with you. Of I course, you have my permission. And I would like to, you know, put your name, you know, under the photograph and describe that photograph in my little film that I'm working on. So, you know, I would. You don't mind? You don't mind? No. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's continue, sister. Um, what ultimately happened to the man in the photograph? Has Farad Muhammad? also known as Muhammad Abdullah. What ultimately happened to him? Well, he, uh, he passed away. Hmm. Passed away. Um, Did you go to the funeral? No, I couldn't go at the time. I was out of the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I, I come back and I find out when I come back it was an after fact. Did you... But I had letters from I had letters from grandmother, his wife. Apparently, the lady Elijah Muhammad only let a few select people whom he could fully trust meet Master Farad Muhammad. The late boxing champion Muhammad Ali was another person who was in constant contact with Master Farad as early as his first fight with Sonny Liston. Ali spoke to Farad on the phone on a daily basis. On October 21, 2013, the very popular game show Jeopardy, hosted by Alex Trebek, featured a category titled Into Thin Air that contestants responded to. The topic was about Master Farad and his Nation of Islam and Farad's disappearance without a trace in 1934. Here is a clip of the show's segment when it was aired October 21, 2013. Sir? Oh, what's the case? It's Dallas, New York City, Texas. Yes, sir. I did into thin air for a thousand. Wallace Farad Muhammad, founder of this nation, disappeared without a trace in 1934. Bill, it's a nation of Islam, correct. Sorry, buddy. You got it wrong. You should have first checked with Shabazz Productions for the proper answer. Wallace Farrar did not disappear without a trace in 1934. He was here right in the United States. Sorry. The producers of Jeopardy should have first checked with Shabazz Productions. And you're supposed to be a show that's historically accurate. I'm switching over to The Price is Right. <laughs>